I want to you know talk about how each idea reflects various aspects of comprehension. So Avinash found out that they use vacuum tubes in solar water heaters. You all know solar water heaters have become very popular now. Every hotel uses it. Solar water heating is now in and that's in because of vacuum tubes. Then Avinash thought if I use vacuum tubes for my cooking, why not? So he's coming up with various different ideas. Then he said, can I have circulating fans to move a larger panel of air so that I can connect more heat and you know take it to the containers. And then he also thought about a very big glass vacuum vessel. You all know greenhouse effect. Your cars are good examples. In greenhouse effects, temperatures inside boxes can go as high as 80 to 90 degrees. Most of you must have been in a car which is in the sun for 2-3 hours. And you can see the temperature inside. What would be the temperature inside? 60 to 70 degrees sometimes. So, you know, this is an idea which uh, he came up. So, then we said, wow, this has to be mounted on a window. It can be, you know, horizontally mounted. It can just slide out of the window, right? You have an oven on the window and you slide it out like a box. Or you mount it like an air conditioner with a flange. So, you made this quick and dirty mock-ups. He started making very small scale mock-up. Look at his hand and small mock-up. These are very, very important issues in conception. When you make the small mock-ups, it becomes very tangible to you how your product is going to work. And these are very valuable and we make our students do these mock-ups very, very carefully. And we spend a whole three weeks on this. What was this creative part which Avinash did? He went and picked up two bislary bottles. And he put them one into the other. And he checked. This was our biggest breakthrough where the temperature rose to 82 degrees within 15-20 minutes. We said, wow, this technology will work. It will surely be, you know, very good. And then he did all the detailing for this. You see how it is going to be made, what type of shell it will be, what type of double wall. And then you do how it will go and fit in the window. And then he made a mock-up model. So, you have this whole round shell. And you have the wheel to adjust the air vent inside. Remember, I tell you, cars when they get hot. So, if your food is cooked, you can you know, turn the wheel. And do you think this is working? Do mock ups work? No, mock ups are just dream things. You just make them quickly out of plastic and paint them and make them look like real. Why are mock ups needed for design? To go closer to the product, to understand its shape, form, aesthetics, perception, and usability. Right? Every car which is on the street would have gone through seven or eight clay mock-ups okay so here you see this mock-up it doesn't work but it has all the features you see it has a place to put your hand and pull and then he worked out two compartments in this to get better heat and you know better transparency so that it cooks better we want to make it look like kitchen appliance but this is looking like a space product it doesn't, doesn't look like part of the kitchen though washing machines have round hatches we said let us look at more convenience of putting food inside so we wanted to have a rectangular door so we said okay if it fits with the semantics of an air conditioner and a microwave oven what is semantics anybody knows meanings and form for example as soon as you show you something i don't need to tell you twice if there's a bottle bottle you know that the, this water bottle has a cap and there's a bottle and there's a particular shape so the semantics of a bottle is fixed so they all have a particular you know uh, type of shape and form so there's a meaning in this, you know, as soon as you show this, you know, it's a water bottle. Okay, so here we are. So where are we now in the design phase? We are still in the first. And we are, we just make mock-ups and it is not even a working model. Avinash has this rig which is working only at 89 degrees. And 89 degrees you can only cook rice. Maybe you can make some cakes, but nothing more than that. So still we have a very long way to go. We need a working prototype. We need to then look at pilot production, put in more places, and then we need to go to mass scale where all over the country and all over the world we can launch this product. So we have a long way to go.